you go 58. I think that's what that says. 26. Okay, it is a uh, definitely a war nickel 43. It's a little bag with coins in it. Hey, hopefully you can hear me. It's pretty windy out here today. Uh, we're back here. Out at the old uh, quarry. And it got some traffic going by right now. So might get a little loud. Try to keep this wind off you. Um, we're gonna go back out here. I've hit this pretty good, but the ground is wet and um, Hopefully we'll get a little more conductivity out of that and we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. Let's go uh, unearth it. some history. All right, hopefully the wind will hold off here. I uh, got the first promising signal of the day. Uh, I'm going to live dig this one. It's questionable, but uh, it's worth a look. So we'll go ahead and see what we can get. Just a hint of chop, which normally indicates iron, but the target size was the right size. So, yeah. Big old chunk of uh, iron. Not sure what that belonged to. But uh, we'll swing the coil over one more time just in case, and then uh, we'll keep on moving. All right, just pulled that out of the ground. Uh, first I thought it was a top to maybe a, a lantern, which it still may be an old oil lamp. Um, but I've never seen one that's kind of got the, all this going on in the back. So, and it's, it's got that, that part right, that ridge down the middle where you think they would feed a wick through, but it's not hollow. It looks like that's actually a solid piece, almost like this was like a handle on something. I don't know. Anyways, there's a couple other pieces of it right there. And uh, I moved to the other side of the road. Uh, that side over there, I was just literally not filming anything. All I got was uh, junk. Um, so far, I've only been here five minutes, and this is the second hole I've dug. But uh, anyways, we'll keep on. Hey, this is actually uh, a semi-surface find here. Hold on, let me get my glove back on. I don't want to be playing with rusty sharp metal without a glove on but um, I'm not sure what it is but it's big probably part of an old part of the truck man this thing is heavy it's like a cannonball so sorry for the lovely camera work this was actually like on it somehow and this here weighs an absolute ton. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm having, I'm not a strong guy, but I'm having a hard time lifting that up. That thing is incredibly heavy. It's got two almost two little uh, legs here, two little feet that it looks like it would have it would have sat on. I don't think I'll be packing that one out. That is just, I definitely can't carry it around with me. That thing is huge. But anybody who knows what that might have been at one time, uh, remember that was somehow over top of it. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you think that might have been. And uh, just thought I'd show that to you. We'll keep on Well, moving. it looks like we may be off the coin schneid for the day. Uh, hopefully it's either that or a button. And if you can't see it already, I'm sorry, I'm putting my gloves back on here, but kind of a cool dig. So, getting kind of an iffy signal, but I've been digging a lot of them because we're just having a crummy day out here. And this big piece of crockery comes up and stuck to it is that right there. So, 
Let's take a look. See what we got. Ah, yeah, there's the big old piece of stoneware or whatever it was it was stuck to. It's really green. It's the right shape. Man, it's got beautiful patina on it. All right, let me get my uh, toothbrush real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, folks, I don't know what I have here. I'm, I'm assuming an Indian just because of its condition, and I've pulled a ton of Indians out of this field. Um, you know how it goes at home. You're probably getting a better look at it than I can actually see out here in the field. I can... It looks like there may be a bust on there of some sort. I've got this on macro mode. I hope it's actually focused. I can't tell out here. It looks like it is. Um, and then on the back or front, <laughs> whatever that is, well, it's got a reeded edge. If you can see that right there. Huh. All right, I came across the old dump site. We hit this pretty good. Look at, you can see all just the chunks of bottles and, and glass and that through here. So this is definitely where they were dumping all their old stuff. Probably burning some of it. It's a nice old, looks like. Darn, it's missing the top my glove out of here but uh, nice little bottle top there and if you look just all through here nothing but glass different colors different sizes like a dark green there man it'd be nice to find something intact but no we're in a farm field even if it was, it's been plowed a million times and this is what's left of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go over this really, really good. Hopefully something fell out of their pocket while they were taking care of the trash. We'll see. I just pulled that out of the ground. Um, well, it's about to fall. I have no idea what it is. It's got uh, something on the end there. So, yeah, we'll uh, throw it in the pouch. Keep on. I got some kind of old latch or a buckle. Just dug that out. It's got a lot of uh, buildup on it, corrosion. I mean, uh, rust. But it looks like it was definitely a buckle. And I don't know what all that is that rusted to it. But that's a solid lump of rusted something on there. So, cool old buckle though, and we'll uh, keep on moving. Oh, looks like we may have our second, well, still haven't identified the first one yet, but it looks like another uh, possible coin. Good green patine on it. Let me get a glove on here. And if this is a coin, the good news is there's still a good signal down in the plug, or down in the hole, so there may be more than one. Um, so let's... Clean this bad boy off. Alright, there's a the shield. Yeah, gonna be another uh, Indian. You yeah, can't really make out the uh, the bust and the headdress, but you can definitely see the shield and the one cent on the back. So we got an Indian for sure. And uh, 
we're gonna keep on digging. Okay, so I got a uh, 55 miscellaneous, which is where, I, at least on my machine, where the Indian heads fall in. And uh, I actually stuck my shovel in the ground right here to go ahead and dig. And when I look down, can you see it? It's, it's a surface find, it's right here. And it's another toasty Indian. Yeah, the bad thing about these farm fields is they put a lot of chemical and fertilizers in them and over the years it just wreaks havoc on these coins and breaks them down so it's hard to find a real good keeper I mean they're all keepers to me but uh, something that I can display in my showcase so all right another Indian on the day let's keep moving yeah, I may have a coin ball here you can see that rim right there well it looks like a rim Flipped it out of my hand. Wow, memorial. Shocking out here. Eh, a coin out in the middle of the farm field. I'll take it. Game of the win. Well, if you remember, <clears throat> excuse me, if you remember last year, uh, when I finally got back here around the quarry perimeter which is where the uh, one of the offices used to allegedly be uh, where the owner told me the building was was all covered with boys poison ivy and all that um, and it was right around where this big tree is so I couldn't even consider it back in there take a look I hope you can hear it's still windy um, the property owner came back in here to clear out some widow makers, some deadfalls, and in the process bulldozed right where I need to be. There's the MX4. Um, right here. Right in this area here is where allegedly one of the quarry offices was. And if you look, there's brick all through here. Brick all through here. So I think we're definitely on the side of a former structure. The only problem is this ground is loaded with hot rock. And if I can find this while I got you on camera, let me take a look back here. Uh, there's just chunks and reminders of what used to be all through here. I can't find it now. There was a, uh, laying on top of the ground, a huge rusty uh, spike. Not a railroad spike. Looked like something that would, like a fastener type thing. But uh, anyways, here we are. Good and bad. The bad is, and since they bulldozed the top level over here, I can hit that, but if the anything was in there and rolled to the bottom of that pile, there's no way I'm going to detect it. But uh, let's get to it. Grab your metal detector, take it to the coast. You will find some treasure underneath the stone. Take it to your brother 